All right. Okay. Welcome, students. Welcome to one more session of your WOC. This is your one imam back again with complete handwritten notes of aldehydes, ketones, and acids. So basically, students, the most important chapter in organic chemistry. So what did I do? I have picked up each and everything of your NCRT, made it into a complete notes. So please go through. Basically, in the first page, I have given you the structure. What is the importance of this, of the carbonyl carbon in both the cases? So in case of aldehydes, if you take, this is an electrophilic part where it okay, allow the nucleophile to come and attack. So aldehydes, ketones are going to show you nucleophilic addition reactions, isn't it? Yes. So like that, I have given you the complete structure of all the three. Slowly, I have taken you into a concept called nomenclature students. So in nomenclature, all the important examples along with IUPAC name and common name. Just check IUPAC name and common name is mentioned in the brackets like that. Important examples I have taken mentioning IUPAC name on the top, common name below. So this is about the nomenclature which I did for you all. Slowly, gradually when I go further, more examples also I have added for ketones. Just see here common thing acetophenone yes but what is a common name uh, what is a uh, IUPAC name and common name together most of the students will not take that so that's the reason I have given that along with that different bond line structures I have taken giving you different different examples just take student slowly I have taken examples from carboxylic acid also this also is there with this all the examples are covered now if you see students physical properties see here Physical properties completely, what is a liquid, what is a gas at room temperature, which is a liquid and what does solubility depend upon and what are the order for solubility in hydrogen bonding. Everything I have mentioned starting from alcohols till hydrocarbons and very important thing after that distinguishing test. Distinguishing test we should not leave isn't it in organic chemistry. So distinguishing test between aldehydes and ketones. This complete page will give you the understanding whether uh, aldehydes will respond to Schiff's test, whether they respond to sodium hydroxide and everything. So, iodoform test also you can include here because ketones respond, aldehydes do not respond. Like that, slowly I have taken you into the preparations. Just check students, how can I prepare aldehydes along with the reagents which are mentioned on the top of the arrow? So, oxidation reaction, what are the products? Dehydrogenation reaction, what are the products? Catalytic decomposition, what are the products? Like that, all the reactions, everything together is mentioned in one page. Now, slowly I'm taking you into further reaction, hydroboration reaction. Very important. So, I have taken both and I've shown you. If you're adding hydroboration or if you're doing hydroboration reaction, in this particular case, what actually is a ketoenol tautomerism, everything is mentioned. Here, hydrogen I have taken. Here, alkyl group I have taken. It can be any number, isn't it? But the product is the alcohol finally following the ketoenol tautomerism getting up. easy. So, both the examples I have given along with the reagents directly you can add, follow the mechanism and you can finally form the products. Easy. Further students, I did ozonolysis reactions of alkenes. How you can get your carbonyl come from gem halides, gem dihalides also have explained here. Slowly going into the chemical properties, as I said, aldehydes show nucleophilic reactions. So what did I do? First, I have taken the reactivity order. Then I said, what is the reason nucleophilic addition reaction happens? So because of the electrophile, electrophilic nature of carbonyl compound. So I have shown here. So you all know, no students, H plus goes and attacks to the oxygen atom and the nucleophile goes and attacks to the electrophile. So I have mentioned the reason. And reactivity order also is mentioned here. Slowly, if I go from chemical properties, important thing, all the nucleophilic addition reactions. See here, everything is there in the students. So, I have taken the example where Z is going to change. Z can be 2,4-DNP. It can be alkyl group, aryl group. <coughs> if it is hemiacetals, if it is amine, semi-carbazides, everything. So, taking into consideration, slowly, I have explained each and every reaction of this in a form of a table. Let's see that. Okay, reduction and oxidation also I have mentioned. You very well know. 
aldehydes on reduction in the presence of methyl catalyst will give me primary alcohols ketones on reduction give secondary alcohols so see here students all the nucleophilic addition reactions are in one page perfectly see everything is in one page so the value of z is what what is the reagent what is the carbonyl derivative you get and how do you name that is it fine yes perfectly fine so slowly from the chemical properties of aldehydes i have taken you into all the reactions where you will be getting hydrocarbons students here here you will be getting hydrocarbons in the presence of zinc amalgam hydrazine as you have seen wolf kishner reaction and clemenson's reduction everything all together so here reduction and oxidation both the reactions i have given using mild oxidizing agent and strong oxidizing agent then slowly i showed you the haloform reaction here i have shown you the iodoform reaction that is uh, then i have shown you the aldol condensation reaction then i have shown you canizaros reaction everything is there in this everything is there in this all right after that preparation of acids preparation of acids you very well know i can prepare acids by oxidation <clears throat> i have shown you that reaction both primary alcohols to aldehydes aldehydes to acids alcohols to uh, directly acids decanoic acid using a strong oxidizing agent that also i have shown you here and hydrolysis of nitriles what are the product because they'll be asking you in conversions right nitriles to amides amides to acids right slowly i have also shown you how can i prepare carboxylic acids from grignard's reagent and from esters you very well know grignard's reagent in the presence of grignard's reagent and uh, just me come back yes addition reaction happens where <clears throat> there's a cleavage of this bond and this forms alkyl radical and this forms mgbr minus so what is going to happen students to so this oxygen atom as you all know the oxygen atom two oxygen atoms existed so one negative and the mg plus, x plus goes and adds to the oxygen atom finally you do hydrolysis you'll be getting carboxylic acids so like that complete reactions i have shown and uh, koch reaction also i have shown you iodoform reaction also i have shown you like that chemical reactions what did i do i have taken i have taken this complete chemical reactions just check everything under one page you see now let us see some more basically just check students completely all the reactions of carboxylic acid with the names also let me little come down so that you can note it so note note it done after the carboxylic acid reactions slowly i have gone to a part called benzoic acid aromatic acid reactions all your halogenation nitration sulfonation you very well know carboxylic acid is meta directing so i have shown all the meta directing products along with the things also please go through that next students Re reduction reactions what happens in the presence of soda amide what happens in the presence of red phosphorus rather the whole textbook is in this perfectly written students then after that distinguishing tests what happens when you distinguish between carboxylic acid phenols and alcohols this is what is a distinguishing test last but not the least acidity rea order reactions just check acidity order if this is given how do you write the acidity order what is the reason we very well know more electronegative more acidity the reaction would be so i have taken this example here which will explain everything along with the different halogen atoms i have taken what happens if you have electron withdrawing group at the para position ortho position and meta position what is the order also that also i have mentioned here so one more acidity order question i have taken here to explain you the concept isn't it interesting students order questions are there conversions are there distinguishing tests are there preparations are there all in one isn't it one more question for you all to show the acidity order these are the frequently asked questions students very frequently asked questions these are okay and last but not the least name reactions perfect rosenman reduction name reaction stephens reduction okay what uh, name reactions everything i have listed out in one after that slowly when i go clemenson's reduction here wolf kishner reduction here right and 
slowly when i come finally ketard reaction important where you are converting toluene to benzaldehyde slowly i have taken it to got catman cotts reaction then side chain halogenation my request is i have explained each and every reaction in the channel students every reaction i have explained everything is there in the channel 100% of grade 12 is done with one page revisions flow charts one shot videos okay previous years questions everything grade 10 11 12 je as well as neat everything is available in the channel i request all of you to go through the whole video take your book and note it okay i'll be coming up with the next handwritten notes from my side my request to all the new students who are joining welcome to the channel to all the all the old students who are there thank you so much for your constant support all right right students so i hope these notes will be very useful 100% of aldehydes is covered thank you so much for watching i'll come back with one more set of notes please join the channel you will really enjoy motivation videos are given shorts are done everything from mani ma'am side always wc believes in quality and free education thank you so much students